China, the world's largest auto market and the second largest consumer of oil, is undergoing a transformation. Thanks to the electric vehicle boom, the country's oil consumption is now predicted to peak years earlier than anticipated. This rapid shift isn't just about numbers. It represents a seismic change in the global energy landscape. Today, we'll explore the factors behind this change and its far-reaching implications. China has emerged as the epicenter of the electric vehicle revolution. Over half of all new cars sold in the country are now electric or hybrid, a staggering milestone that underscores the speed of this transition. In just two years, EV registrations have tripled. This growth has been fueled by a combination of rising consumer awareness, affordability of EV models, and government incentives. The rate at which electric vehicles, EVs, are being adopted is staggering. We're talking about rapid growth, so fast, in fact, that gasoline consumption is expected to drop by 4 to 5% every single year, all the way through this decade. Let that sink in. That's a huge change for the energy industry. But here's the kicker analysts from some of the biggest energy firms are now predicting that China's petroleum demand will peak by 2027. That's just a few years away. This is a major shift. Just a short time ago, many of those same analysts were saying that peak demand wouldn't happen until the 2030s. Now they're revising their predictions. Why? Because of the rapid rise of electric vehicles. Think about it. This accelerated timeline tells us just how quickly the EV market is transforming the global energy landscape. It's reshaping everything we thought we knew about energy consumption. The world is changing, and it's happening fast. As electric vehicles steadily replace traditional gasoline-powered cars, the demand for fuel is steadily dropping. And this isn't just happening in China. It's a global trend. But because China is the second largest oil consumer in the world, its shift away from gasoline is making waves in the global market. It's not just a small change. No, this is huge. Oil companies are starting to feel the pressure. They know the landscape is shifting and consumption patterns are changing fast. You have to wonder, what does this mean for the future of oil? Are these companies ready for the disruptions that are coming? Because they're not just dealing with a decline in demand in one country, it's happening worldwide. And that could shake things up more than we think. You know, the earlier peak in oil consumption? That's a game changer. It's not just a blip. It's a clear sign that things are shifting. Now, here's where it gets interesting. If China, yes, China, starts using less oil, that's going to send shockwaves through the global market. We're talking lower oil prices, which could hit fast and hard. What does that mean for the energy sector? It's going to feel the effects. Big time. Countries that rely heavily on oil exports, they've got some serious concerns. Economic stability, it's on the line. With demand dropping, how can they maintain their revenue? And let's not forget about oil companies. They're not sitting pretty either. They've got to rethink their entire game plan. Can they survive in a world where oil prices are dropping? That's the million dollar question. So yeah, this isn't just a minor shift. This is a pivotal moment. Everyone, countries, companies, investors, is watching closely, wondering what's next. What happens if these trends keep going? How will the entire energy sector adapt? Only time will tell. China's EV revolution wouldn't be where it is today without the government backing it up. Seriously, it's like the government is laying down a red carpet for EVs. Think about it. They offer huge subsidies for buyers, tax breaks, and on top of that, strict emissions laws that push manufacturers to step up their game. These policies are not just nice-to-haves. They are powerful incentives that have transformed the market. But it doesn't stop there. China's investment in infrastructure is massive. Charging stations? Everywhere. This isn't just about putting more electric cars on the road. It's about making sure people can actually charge them. Without this level of commitment, where would China's EV market be? Definitely not where it is now. The government is practically guaranteeing success for the industry. And let's be real. These policies aren't slowing down anytime soon. China is serious about leading the world in EVs, and they've set the stage for long-term growth. Let's talk about cattle for a second. You know, they're a powerhouse in the battery game, and they're really making moves. By 2025, they're on track to build over 1,000 battery swapping stations. That's huge. Why? Because it directly tackles one of the biggest pain points for EV owners charging convenience. Imagine being able to quickly swap a battery instead of waiting hours for a charge. Sounds like a game changer, right? But here's the kicker. It's not just cattle pushing this forward. The government is all in too. 
They've rolled out thousands of charging stations across the country, making sure that even the most remote areas are covered. That's a big deal. You don't want to drive an electric vehicle and find out that there's no place to charge when you need it most. It's a clear, proactive move. The convenience factor? It's skyrocketing. And this is one of the main reasons why EV adoption in the country is taking off. When people can easily charge or even swap out a battery, the transition to electric just becomes a whole lot smoother. China's rise as a leader in EV adoption isn't just big news for its own borders, it's shaking up the whole world. Think about it, China isn't just any market. It's the largest market for electric vehicles, period. What happens there sets the tone for everyone else. Manufacturing, energy policies, China's leading the charge, and the rest of the world is taking notes. But it's more than just EVs on the road. A massive shift like this has ripple effects. Picture this. As more Chinese drivers swap gas guzzlers for EVs, oil demand in China could drop. Big time. And what happens when the world's second largest oil consumer suddenly needs less oil? Prices could take a hit. That's great for drivers at the pump, sure, but what about economies that rely on oil exports to survive? They could feel the squeeze, and it wouldn't be pretty. So what does this mean for the big picture? It's not just an energy story. It's a manufacturing story, an economic story, and even a geopolitical one. Will other countries race to catch up? Will oil exporting nations rethink their strategies? The answers could reshape industries and economies worldwide. The environmental impact? It's massive. Think about it. Reduced reliance on fossil fuels means China is stepping up as a leader in the global fight against climate change. That's not just good for China, it's good for the planet. Every electric car on the road is one less polluting vehicle. Every megawatt of renewable energy is a step away from dirty coal. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Other nations are watching. They see China's progress, and it's creating a ripple effect. If China can do it, why not them? Why not push harder, faster, for renewable energy and electric mobility? It's no longer just about being eco-friendly, it's about staying competitive on the global stage. The pressure is real, the stakes are high, and the world, it's taking notes. Think about it, every challenge is also a door to opportunity. So who's knocking on that door? Companies in green technologies, battery recycling, and grid infrastructure. These industries are not just adapting, they're thriving. Why? Because the world needs solutions, and they're stepping up to provide them. Green tech innovators are racing to create more efficient solar panels, wind turbines, and electric vehicles. Battery recycling companies? They're figuring out how to repurpose old batteries into valuable resources instead of letting them pile up as waste. And grid infrastructure? It's the backbone of all this progress, ensuring clean energy gets from point A to point B. Here's the kicker. China isn't just participating in this movement, it's leading it. They're building faster, innovating smarter, and investing bigger than anyone else. And when the largest energy consumer in the world makes sustainable energy its top priority, it doesn't just change the game, it rewrites the rules. What does that mean for the rest of us? It means global advancements aren't just possible, they're inevitable. China's push is setting the pace for others to follow. Countries and companies around the world are being inspired, or maybe pressured, to step up their game. So yes, these challenges are daunting, but they're also sparking innovation, driving progress, and creating opportunities that could shape a cleaner, greener future for everyone. Now the question is, who's ready to seize them? China's EV revolution is not just reshaping its own energy landscape, but is setting the stage for a global shift away from fossil fuels. The earlier-than-expected peak in oil consumption signals a future where electric vehicles and renewable energy take center stage. But what do you think? Will other countries follow China's lead, or is this trend unique to their market? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.